question that comes up often in physics classes and on the internet is what happens to the weight of a jar with a fly in it if the fly is standing on the floor of the jar or flying in the jar? Does the weight change as the, as the fly uh, flies around in the jar? And uh, I think what we want to do is start off with a little review of forces. So first of all, if, uh, if somebody is pulling on this arm with a certain force, in this direction, and somebody's pulling on this arm in this direction with the same force, then the net force on me, the, the result, the total force on me is zero because they cancel each other out. One force in this direction, one force in this direction, as long as it's the same force, I cancel out to zero and I just stay here. Now if this person pulls harder than this person, let's say 10 newtons of force in this direction and, and only five in this direction, then there's a net force going this way and I will start to move in that direction. I'll start to move faster and faster and faster in that direction. So let's think about what happens in the vertical direction. I'm standing here. I'm not going up or down. So that tells me that the net force on me in this direction is zero. And I know for sure there's one force acting on me that's the force of gravity, right? The Earth's pulling me towards the center of the Earth, pulling me to the ground. <clears throat> and so something else must be pushing up on me. The ground. The ground is pushing up on me with the same force. And those two forces cancel each other out, and so I, I don't go anywhere. Now, if I was hovering above the ground, and I wasn't going up or down, the same thing would have to be true. The net force on me would have to be zero. So I'm going to hover above the ground by standing on this scale. So now I'm hovering above the ground. I'm not touching the ground anymore. Gravity is still pulling down on me, but now the scale is pushing up on me. And in order for the scale, the scale isn't moving either, right? So if it's pushing up on me, something must be pushing up on the scale, and that's the ground. So the ground, even though I'm not touching it anymore, is still feels the force of me hovering above it. And if I could fly, and I could flap my wings and hover over the ground, I would be pushing down on the air, and the air would be pushing up on me, keeping me in the air hovering. But the air would go down and hit the floor, and so the floor would still feel my weight, even if I wasn't touching it. And so that's kind of what's happening with the fly in the jar. <clears throat> when the fly is standing on the bottom of the jar, the whole weight is registered, right? The jar plus the fly registered on a scale, if it's sitting on a nice sensitive scale. And if the fly flies up and hovers in the middle of the jar, he has to push down on the air molecules, and they hit the bottom of the jar. And so as far as the scale is concerned, you have the same weight, the jar plus the fly, no change. If the fly is sitting on the floor or flying above it, you get the same reading. 